Today we're going to look at how to add your voice to a live stream. So I've got a setup here that I'm going to show you and share with you how I do it. But let's make this a live stream first. So watch this, click of a button and bam. So we're using a software here. I've done a couple of the videos about cameras, not a couple. I've done loads of videos about cameras using loads of different types of cameras. But today it's going to be audio and voice. So I don't think I've covered this as well as I need to cover it because a lot of people have had questions. So when I'm saying about adding audio to your live stream or voice to your live stream, I'm basically talking about making sure you can speak. Because what will happen is if you're setting up a live stream, you set up the camera, everything's fine. But then you find out if you're using a laptop or a computer, the mic quality is not great because it's just using the mic quality from the the either built on board camera uh, laptop mic or the some computers have mics and it sounds very echoey so you want it to sound nice and crisp and i'm going to give you a few options today basically to show you how to do that so the first thing to think about is get your camera stuff sorted if you've got one camera that's perfectly fine i'm using one camera here and then you can set up the camera feed into your software open broadcast studio i keep calling it but it's called open broadcast software which i use so you set your scene up and you can have these little overlays so let me show you these individual overlays it's not really audio but if you see i click that it gets rid of the live from up here if i click the logo it gets rid of my little logo and i've got a little screen which the text i can change so that makes it a live stream i'm actually recording this on the fly as one take which imitates it being a live stream but audio wise let me bring you to my i've set up a camera up here to kind of show you what i've got set up so here this button over here turns on an extension lead which has plugged in my mixing board which is for my audio and all my cameras i've got three cameras here is the volume for my um, speakers that is a usb hub which currently has two cameras plugged in via usb you can see kind of one is a HDMI capture card, one is a USB cable because the this camera here is a USB powered Canon DSLR camera as a mic. So now that gives you an idea of the background. Let me show you, let me, well, show you. You can hear the audio and how it sounds. So if I show you the setup, um, also I'll introduce you to a link in the description to my Amazon shop now. So I've become an Amazon influencer. I can't say the bloody word. Influ influencer? influencer yeah whatever those things are so basically if you like what i'm talking about it's a quick way for me to share the links to the products i'm talking about so the stuff i've bought and i've tested is what i'm going to link you to so if you find it helpful or if you struggle with it then i can give you more help because i know i've gone through the process of setting that stuff up so that's why i'm offering you that before i used to give you like individual links to stuff but now i've got the store i can give you a link to the actual items so let's look at the setup here canon dslr to webcam leads that, that's interesting because that's how i made the canon webcam into a dslr so let's look at start live stream complete kit so if you click on the link in the description it'll take you here so now actually it's quite i like how that looks it's like a bit of a my own shop but it's not my stuff so i'm not gonna get paid for it well will i i'll get commission i think if you buy something from it so help me out okay so lights i show you a set three sets of lights different budgets from all the way down from 41 to 150 i use the 150 ones which and i've got three of them and um, this is the mic arm that i'm using right here then microphone wise there's two options here i've given you 34 and 59 but if you imitate what i've got it's quite expensive but i'll show you the alternative that little thing there can i you can you see my mouse yeah that thing there is a different version of that I've got four mics in that because when we do podcasting, we have four people sometimes speak and I can have four different mics going in. This one in this screen here is only one. Actually, let me open it so you can see it. So that's basically a, a mixing board that you can use an XLR mic, which is what this is. So that's the fancy way of doing it. You can easily spend, let's just tuck that up to give you an idea. Okay, that complete set's about $300, which is about 250 to 60 pounds. Some people might not want to spend that. So what's the alternative? The alternative is you basically make the best of what you've got. So there's nothing stopping you from using headphones. 
which have mics built in. So if you're comfortable uh, live streaming with headphones on, you normally it has a lead. I've just disconnected the lead. Actually, use a Bluetooth, I think. So you plug this in, and you can use this as a mic source. Or you know what? You could even, I think, at a pinch, because I'm basically giving you the cheap option. Plug that in as a mic and put it down on the desk in front of you. Let me show you the screen so you can see. Okay, so say for example, there's my plugin. I plug it and put it there. And when I'm speaking, I'm closer to the mic. So that's a bit of a, a bit of lack of a hack. If you've got headphones for your mobile phone, think of it along those lines. So if you have a mobile phone, you can speak in your mobile phone like this. If you plug a headset into it, you could put the phone in your pocket and then the headset's closer to your mouth and it sounds nicer. So that's all we're doing. We're basically plugging in a headset and then speaking into the mic and getting better audio. Because the trick with this is you don't have to have really expensive mic gear. The closer it is to you, the better it will sound. Let me show you an example of that. So right now I'm speaking about mm, four inches away from the mic. But if this mic was over here, that, that sounds like I'm having to shout a bit louder. And say if the mic was down here, that's how it will sound. So even though you have good quality, good quality, quality? Yeah, good quality equipment, it doesn't mean it will perform well if you use it in the wrong way. So now this, if it's a bit closer to me, it will sound better. And you've got to find the balance. But in the same way, if we were using a headphone plugged directly into the computer, you could use that as your microphone. You can get wireless options. It depends how fancy you want to get and what your final goal is with it. But you can see here, I've basically got individual levels on it and it's a bit more fancy. But I do podcasting with that as well. So that's why it's a bit more fancy. It doesn't need to be fancy. If you want to get audio into your live stream, plug in a set of headphones into your mic port and use that to speak. Even if you don't connect the earphones in your ears, just put them on your shoulder or under your jumper and kind of hide it away, but the mic closer to you. And you can add it as an audio source in your software or in Zoom. If you're doing Zoom, just select the drop down and choose the mic, the external mic, it normally comes up in the list. If you're not sure which one is, unplug it, bring the list up, plug it back in and you'll see it pop up. Because sometimes it shows four or five options but you, you know which one is. So that's a quick overview of mics. I've given you a, a link in the description to fancy ones. What I might do is for your benefit, I've even made like videos on Amazon now because I'm an influencer. I can't say that word. Let me know how you say it in the comments. But how are you going to let me know? Can you let me know how to say it in the comments? Because if you type it, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it in the same way. Apparently, yeah. Okay, so um, in this, I've got a couple of reviews of the mics and stuff that I've brought because I do that for Amazon separately. And it lets you know, even the capture card stuff's there that I'm using. And the microphone, actually, there's one there for £34, but I use a Behringer mic, which is like £20. So already you're saving £10 there. So on this setup, you're probably looking £10 for the arm, 20 that's £30. And then the mixing board, depending on which direction you go, I've got a Yamaha mixing board who added about 250 pounds. If you get it cheaper, you can get a full setup for about 150 pounds. Call that mid range. If you use your existing headphone mics, you can adjust them in a way to get the best from that. So my next video here is going to be how to get the best from your cheap microphone. And you can hear a direct comparison and how I set up the audio. It'll be a few tips and tricks in there. So check this out and I'll come, I'll see you on that video.